Imagine uploading short animated stories that pull in millions of views, views that can turn into real income. Channels doing this are already earning thousands of dollars every month just by sharing animated videos. And here's the good news. You don't need expensive gear or a big editing team. Thanks to free AI tools, you can start today, even if you've never made a video before. In this video, I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to create viral animation videos using AI, from your story idea all the way to a polished final video. Let's jump right in. The first step is simple. Decide what kind of story you want to tell. You can get ChatGPT's help to write the story. But asking ChatGPT to write a children's story won't give you the best results. Of course it will generate a story with scenes, but we need prompts to generate the images. And these images should have consistent characters too. Therefore, I have prepared a detailed prompt to make ChatGPT write completed story scripts. You can find this in the video description. Open ChatGPT, copy and paste the prompt I have given. There is a space to enter your story. Here, enter your rough story idea. I have already typed a story idea, and I'm going to copy and paste it in the blank space. And hit enter. That's it. Wait until ChatGPT do the hard work for you. Once your script is generated, you have everything you need to make your animation. These prompts might seem simple, but they have everything you need. Now you're ready to move to the next step, creating images. For this, we are going to use Google Whisk. I'll leave the link in the description. Click on Enter Tool. First, we are going to create our characters. For that, go to Character List in the prompt and copy one of the character descriptions. Now paste it in here. Now we have to include a style. For that, go back to your prompt and copy the style description from any scene. And paste it here. Select the aspect ratio as 1 by 1 and generate. Once the images are generated, choose the one you like and click on this refine button. Now download the image and save it in a folder. Go back to the character list and do the same for every character listed there. Now we can generate the scenes. Let's move into the scene number one. First, see what characters appear in the scene. Here, Ella is the only character appears in it. Go back to Google Whisk and expand this tab. Now under the subject option, click on upload image. Select the image of Ella. Go back to ChatGPT and find the part where it says prompt. This is our image prompt. Copy it and paste it in the prompt box. Since we are making video for YouTube, select aspect ratio as 16 by 9 and generate. As you can see, the image is generated with the exact character we input. Now let's move on to a scene where it has multiple characters. Here in scene number 6, there are more than one characters. To add more characters, go back to Whisk and click this plus icon next to Characters option. Add all the characters mentioned in the scene. You can decide to remove characters if you want. In my case, I'm removing this last character to keep things simple. Now copy the image prompt, paste it in the prompt box, and generate. Here there's one issue. Even though I uploaded three characters, Whisk generated more characters. If this happens, specify the number of characters in the prompt and it'll solve the issue. Generate images for all the scenes and download them. Now we can move to next step, converting these images to videos. Head over to Vidu AI. Vidu AI adds smooth motion to still images so your final result feels like a real animation, not just a slideshow. Use the link in the description to receive free monthly credits for new signups. After login, select Image to Video. Now upload the first image. For the video prompt, you can use the same image prompt generated by the chat GPT. For best quality generations, use the latest video model and select the Stable Style Preference option. Now generate the video. So this is the first result, and honestly, it's amazing. 
Same way, generate videos for all the images. Once all scenes are ready, download the video clips. Now it's time to pull them all together. Open any video editing tool, import all the video clips to the timeline and arrange them in the right order. Now let's generate our voiceover. For that, go to 11 Labs, use the link in the description to log in and you'll receive free monthly credits to use this tool. Let's find a good voice for story narrations. Go to Voices tab, type story in the search bar and see if there is any good voice for your work. It wasn't the storm that changed her. Once you find the voice, click this plus icon and select Add Voice. Now go to Text to Speech option and select the voice you just added. Now paste all the narration parts here. Here's a quick method. Go to ChatGPT and type Give me all the narration parts in one paragraph. Now copy it and paste it in 11 labs. Click on Generate Speech and download the voiceover. Place the voiceover in the editing timeline. Now adjust the video clip lengths according to the voiceover parts. You can increase the length of a video clip by reducing its speed, but make sure you don't overdo it. Once all done, this is how it looks like. It's good, but we can add some transitions and sound effects to make it better. Go to Transition tab and add transitions between scenes to keep everything flowing smoothly. Search for suitable sound effects using CapCut's audio library or on YouTube. Add background music that fits the mood of your video. Then, insert captions using a template that matches your theme. Once everything is complete, export the video in the highest quality available. Ella was on her way to run an errand when the road suddenly split into paths she didn't recognize. She followed a path that seemed familiar, but with each step, the forest grew denser and darker. As hunger gnawed at her, she spotted a strange apple tree with glowing fruits. Without knowing it was forbidden, she took a bite. The moment she swallowed, the forest vanished. Ella found herself in a strange realm, darker, colder, and eerily silent. Soon, she met other children who were also trapped, just like her. They told her about the fruit, the trap that led them here long ago. They had searched for a way back, but the realm shifted every night. One day, they found a glowing waystone deep in the forest. It seemed to call to them. The stone led them through a narrow canyon toward a dark mountain, its peak hidden in clouds. At the mountain's base, they discovered a cave. It felt cold and wrong. Inside, they stepped into the demon's lair, bones, smoke, and a heavy silence. Then, the demon appeared, towering, growling, and hungry. Just as the demon lunged, a blinding light burst forth. The guardian had come. The demon fled into the shadows, howling in fear. The guardian spoke. The demon lured children with the cursed fruit and devoured them, but not anymore. He showed them the true portal home. One by one, they stepped through, leaving the nightmare behind.